AI helped writers be more creative, but made the group eerily similar. It's like the Twilight Zone. Welcome to the paradox of AI creativity, where originality meets uniformity. Buckle up, my fellow neural navigators. We're about to dive into a world where algorithms are the new muses, and job security in the arts is as stable as my attention span during a TikTok binge. Welcome back, you brilliant brain hoppers and thought jugglers, to another mind-bending episode of our show. I'm your host, Theodore, ready to take you on a journey through the labyrinth of AI and creativity. Oh, and before I forget, which, let's face it, is a constant possibility, we're joined today by our resident experts, Gwen, our AI whisperer, and Charlie, our artistic alchemist. Today, my dear digital dreamers and analog artists, we're diving headfirst into the AI-infused world of creativity. We'll explore how AI is both turbocharging and potentially torpedoing the creative industries faster than you can say writer's block. From AI writing hit songs to designing buildings that don't collapse under the weight of their own pretentiousness, we're covering it all. So synapse up, my cherished cognitive explorers. Whether you're a starving artist fearing for your job, a tech enthusiast dreaming of robot Picassos, or just someone wondering if AI can finally write that novel you've been procrastinating on, this episode is your ticket to the wild west of artificial creativity. Let's embark on this digital odyssey and see if we can decode the future of art before my brain jumps to the next shiny topic. Okay, so are you ready for this? Always. Because today we're diving into AI and creativity. Oh, this should be good. It's a big one, right? Yeah. And we've got all these articles, PYM, NTS, NPR, MIT News, even the NEA. Yeah, it's everywhere you look these days. Exactly. So first up, that PYM, NTS piece. It's called AI Leading to New Tools, Job Cuts in Creative Industries. Catchy, right? Straight to the point. Totally. And they jump right into it with this quote from Mira Murati. She's the CTO of OpenAI. The chat GPT folks. Exactly. So she actually says that AI tools like chat GPT could actually boost creativity. Really? Yeah, it's wild. But then in the same breath, they mention this McKinsey report. Oh, yeah. The one predicting massive job losses. Yeah, like 12 million U.S. workers by 2030. And guess which fields are going to be hit hard? Let me guess. Hmm. Creative funds. Yeah, bingo. And get this, Marathi even says that some creative jobs might just disappear. Like poof. Gone. Especially those, um, how do I put this, jobs that weren't exactly producing groundbreaking work. So AI as a quality control measure. That's one way to look at it. But yep. it makes you wonder, is this really pushing for better art? or just devaluing certain types of creative work. It all boils down to what we even mean by creativity, right? AI, right now, it's all about patterns. It can churn out mountains of content, sure. But can it capture that, you know, that spark, that uniquely human element that makes art truly special? I'm not so sure. It's a good point. And speaking of human elements, the PYMNTS article goes on to talk about these big name artists, Billie Eilish, Nicki Minaj, who are freaking out about AI riffing off their work. Yeah, I can't say I blame them. Right. Like. This is their livelihood. They're creative babies we're talking about. It's a huge ethical mess. Totally. And they're not alone either. A ton of artists sign an open letter demanding protection, basically saying AI can't use their stuff without permission. Which is more than fair, if you ask me. Totally. Though, to be fair, the PYMNTS article does mention that OpenAI and these other companies, they are trying to figure out solutions, wow. more transparency about how data is used, maybe even new ways to pay artists. It's a start, I guess. But it feels like a Band-Aid on a much bigger problem. Totally. It's a total ethical maze. Like, even if they could compensate artists, what would that even look like? If an AI spits out a song that sounds exactly like your favorite musician, should that musician get a cut? It gets complicated fast. Mm. Okay, ready to switch gears a bit? Hit me. So let's talk actual science. This NPR article, Can Artificial Intelligence Boost Creativity? Yes, but at a price. 
It dives into research on whether AI can actually make us more creative, not just replace us. Okay, I'm intrigued. How'd they test that? They took a group of writers, and they had some of them use ChatGPT to brainstorm story ideas. And the others? They had to come up with ideas the old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. But the catch was everyone had to write their own stories. The AI was just there to get the creative juices flowing. Interesting. So what happened? Get this, the stories that got a little AI assistance, they were actually judged as more creative. Wow. That's kind of mind-blowing. Right. But here's where things get really interesting. Remember how we talked about AI and yeah. its love of patterns? Yeah. Well, the NPR article says that while AI might make us individually more creative, it made the whole group of writers less creative overall. Wait, what? How does that work? Because everyone's pulling from the same well. It's like if every song on the radio used the same four chords. Okay, yeah, that would get old fast. Exactly. So the AI, for all its wizardry, it was pushing everyone toward the same creative solutions, which kind of defeats the purpose, right? It's that classic dilemma, what's good for the individual versus what's good for society. Right. Like, we all might get a little creativity boost from AI, but what happens when everyone's relying on the same AI muse? Do we risk losing something? Exactly. You need voices, different perspectives, the sheer weirdness of human creativity. That's what makes art so interesting in the first place. So we end up with a million perfect, but kind of boring copies. Exactly. And then it begs the question, what even is art in the age of AI? It's like that classic thought experiment. If a robot paints a masterpiece in a deserted warehouse and no one's around to see it, does it even matter? Right. The MIT article, The Creative Future of Generative AI, actually jumps into this whole debate. They had all these experts going back and forth on whether AI can ever really be creative. Because it's missing that human element. Exactly. That intentionality, the emotions, all of the messy stuff that goes into human creativity. Can an algorithm ever replicate that? It's almost like AI is forcing us to confront what makes us human. Totally. If a machine can technically paint like Picasso, what does that mean for human artists? What does set us apart? Right. Is it the meaning we pour into our work? The stories behind the art? What do you think? Hit us up on social media. We'd love to hear your take on this. This is getting deep. And speaking of deep, remember that NEA article we talked about? The one about AI taking over the world? Pretty much. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. Remember that mind-blowing stat about AI-generated images? Billions, right. Like an insane number. Billions. More photos than all of Shutterstock combined in just one year. It's moving faster than any of us can keep up with. <laughs> Seriously. But the NEA article also made this interesting point about AI and, of all things, virality. Okay, how does that work? So they were saying that if AI tools want to be more than just a fad, they need to figure out this whole virality uh -huh. thing. Meaning they need to be more than just tools that spit out content. They have to tap into how we actually use creative tools. Okay, I'm following. So it's not enough to just create something. It has to resonate. It has to connect with people. Exactly. And that's something that right now AI really struggles with. Because it doesn't get the human element. It's missing that spark. Which brings up a whole other issue. The ethics of all this AI content. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Like. Who owns the copyright to something created by an algorithm? And what happens when you can't tell the difference between a real photo and an AI-generated one? Or an AI writes a song that sounds exactly like your favorite artist. Things are about to get really complicated fast. It's like we've stumbled into a whole new world and we're writing the rules as we go. And we're not even sure what game we're playing yet. Back to the deep dive. We've talked a lot about what if, but how is AI impacting creativity right now? It's already shaking things up. Remember that NEA article, the numbers they threw around about AI image generation were crazy. Yeah, but it's bigger than just pictures. Way bigger. Think wow. video, something that used to be super expensive and time consuming now. With AI, anyone can do it. It's like that whole Photoshop revolution, but for video. Exactly. That's what the NEA article was getting at. This could be huge small businesses, educators, everyone suddenly has access to professional quality video. It's democratizing creativity. Exactly. But the really mind-blowing stuff, it's about the experience of art, too. Remember that example from the article AI that lets you interact with characters from a book? Wild, right? Like stepping inside the story. And that's just the beginning. 
AI-generated movies that change based on the audience's reaction, video games that adapt to how you play. We're on the edge of a whole new world. It's both exciting and a little scary, to be honest. Definitely. And it's not just visuals, either. AI is coming for music, too. We're talking symphonies, pop songs, even personalized soundtracks, all generated by AI. I've seen those headlines. AI writes a hit song. But is it really that good? Will robots replace musicians altogether? It's a question a lot of artists are grappling with, and the MIT article touched on this. Think about photography at first. Everyone thought it would kill painting. But it didn't. It pushed artists in new directions toward abstract art, new ways of seeing. AI could do the same for music. So instead of replacing musicians, it becomes this collaborator. Exactly. Imagine a composer using AI to explore endless variations of a melody or a guitarist jamming with an AI that responds to their every note. That's the future. And it goes beyond what we traditionally think of as art, too. The MIT article talked about AI and architecture designing buildings that are both beautiful and functional. Buildings that are designed with energy efficiency in mind. It could transform our cities, make them more sustainable. It's using creativity to solve real-world problems. Exactly. And I think that's what we keep coming back to. AI isn't this thing that's going to replace human creativity. It's about how we use it, how we collaborate with it. So where does that leave us? What's the takeaway for listeners who are just trying to wrap their heads around all of this? AI is a tool, a powerful tool, but the future of creativity, that still depends on us. On how we choose to use it. Exactly. Yeah. It's about finding that balance between the human and the machine. And maybe that's the most exciting part. We don't have all the answers yet. We get to write the next chapter. That's a great place to leave it. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into AI and creativity. The topic is sure to keep us all talking for years to come. Well, my esteemed electronic Einsteins and analog da Vinci's, we've reached the end of our AI-powered artistic adventure. Feeling like your creativity just got an upgrade, or like you need to start a support group for soon-to-be obsolete human artists? Don't worry, that cognitive dissonance is just the sweet sound of progress. So what's your take? Are you ready to collaborate with your new AI muse, or are you clutching your paintbrush and typewriter a little tighter? Maybe you're somewhere in the middle, seeing both the Mona Lisa and the blue screen of death in this brave new world of algorithm home pixel display error. Oops, sorry about that. Looks like even my outro isn't safe from unexpected crashes. But hey, that's the beauty of human creativity. We can roll with the glitches, right? Unlike our AI counterparts, we thrive on the unexpected, the imperfect, the beautifully chaotic. If this episode sparked a creative revolution in your neural pathways, don't keep that brilliance to yourself. Share it with that friend who still thinks AI art is just connect the dots on steroids. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are you team embrace the robot renaissance or viva la human resistance? Your voice matters in this grand experiment we call the future of creativity. Remember, every artistic breakthrough in history started with someone asking, what if? So keep questioning, keep creating, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one to teach AI the true meaning of avant-garde. Until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and for the love of all that is artistic, don't let the algorithm steal your spark. This is Theodore, signing off from the intersection of silicon and soul. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a hot date with a neural network to design my new screensaver. Priorities, people.